And I want to tell you another story uh, of my life, the story about my father. Uh, approximately, I think, five years ago, my brother uh, had um, a wedding. And I have a brother and I have a half a sister. So my brother had a wedding and before the wedding ceremony, I went to the ladies room and when I was um, coming from the ladies room, I uh, saw my father and he looked at me and said like, wow, you look terrific. You are so beautiful. Wow. And at that moment, I felt amazing. I, I was like, so happy uh this uh, was such a nice words that i did not hear from my father for years and then uh, i look at him and notice that something is not right something is awkward i felt like he was looking not at me but he was looking through me and then i turned my head back and i saw my younger sister behind me she was standing right behind me and i realized that he was saying those words to her he completely ignored me he did not even notice me i was standing in front of her but he was talking to her through me i felt terrible i i felt like um Oh, it's very hard even to explain and find words how bad it was. I I wanted to scream, I wanted to cry, but because it was my brother's wedding, because it was right before the ceremony, I could not even say anything. I was completely in shock. I And I'm a psychologist. I've learned all those techniques, all those things, but... At that moment, I felt like a child, uh, a child that was abandoned by the father. I was uh, able to kind of ignore it. And uh, I went to the wedding, we celebrated the wedding. But during the whole wedding, those painful feelings were inside of me. And when I came back to the United States, I talked to my friend and I told her how, how awful I felt uh in russia and my friend told me like oh my god he should not do it this is terrible i can't believe your father did it i can't believe that he actually did it like oh my god and instead of giving me emotional support my friend told me how bad my father is how terrible he is and what an awful and uh, evil person my father is and i already felt bad but after her words it was even worse and i began to protect my father i created excuses for him i was saying that you know what probably because my parents uh, divorced i was not uh, close with my father as much as my sister that's why uh he mm, that's why he ignored me. That's why, like, when he saw her, it was like his initial reaction. And I was trying to find excuses for my father. And the more I was trying to protect him, the more she was keeping saying how terrible he is. After talking to my friend, I felt even worse than before and from that day i stopped sharing my deepest feelings with my friends and my family members i found a therapist and after uh, working uh, with my therapist uh, now i can talk about my childhood now i can share with you my um, experience and i don't feel ashamed i don't feel bad i don't feel that um, i am a victim I was able to work on this problem and please let me know in chat or in comments below the video if you had uh, something similar in your life uh, let me know if you know how it is to feel uh, when somebody um, is saying bad things about your family although it's true you know that your father mother boyfriend uh, 
grandfather is an evil person but when you hear it from your close friends um uh, it's even worse please let me know if you can relate to that and uh if you were able to work on this issue so often our friends don't know how to give emotional support again i still friend with this uh girl i like her we are very close i like as close as we can be right so i respect her and i know that again she did not mean to be rude she did not Mm, wanted to offend me often our friends they just don't know how to give emotional support and they don't know how to say it they don't know what to say it and that's why we need a therapist or that's why a friend cannot replace a therapist that's why we need a psychologist a person who will understand our feelings and who will help us to deal with it